Hello, El Parlante Amarillo. We're the School of Not Zippers. I'm Catherine. Hello, everyone. I'm Jimbo. I'm Grafonzo. And we're very happy to be here. Why, thank you. I'm happy to be here. You? I am. <laughs> oh, yes, very much. Nowhere else I'd rather be. Take this. My goodness. Met the ghost of Stephen Foster at the Hotel Paradise. This is what I told him as I gazed into his eyes. Rooms were made for carpets. Towers made for spires. Why were we interested in this? Because we had a record collection of all of this old music and we just loved it so much and, and we thought we could play that, can't we play that? And so this is our version of old American jazz. Catherine wanted to, to, to sing as well. She wanted to, to be a singer and this was the music she was gravi gravitated to, to for her vocals. We really just played in our living room and didn't expect much of it. And, but as soon as we played out in our town, it was a huge success. We just think we have a lot of fun and when people come, they, it's infectious and they catch it from us and they have fun. In the 90s, there was, there was so much self-conscious music. And all of a sudden, here was this music that, was, that everybody could identify with and dance to and just made you happy. What's that you say? Squirrel Nut Zippers are probably one of the most unique bands to perform in. Uh, I've done a lot of different projects and there's nothing that's even really uh, similar to being in the Squirrel Nut Zippers. Uh, why that is, I don't know. Yeah, we don't really know. I do solo things too and it's not, it's, it's, it's people not are very kind and they come and they love it, but it's just not the same. They're just fanatical about the zippers. The main thing that makes us proud about being in this band is that we are still here after 15 years, you know, they, they cannot beat us down. And we're very happy to still like the music we play. And we're each not, other. And each other. Somewhat. No. <laughs> Sometimes we like each other. I think we're more relaxed now. We're not, you know, we're not frantic. We're not scared all the time and worried and. It's, uh, and now we don't, um, we don't work as hard as we used to work, so it's not as intense, which is nice. We go where we want to go when we want to go there. We're about 400 years older than we once were, <laughs> so we are a lot smarter than we used to be. We actually know how to play our instruments a little better now, and I think we know when to stop arguing and fighting and say, yes, dear. Right, Stuart? Yes, dear. It's sort of a ritual with the with the performance and the way the performance is lined is uh, we approach the performance and uh, it can be very inspiring for us even after doing it so many times it, it's still very inspiring. That's when you get to do your job. I mean, you're you're training all the time like an athlete to be here to do it, and that's when you get to do it. Get our costume on and put on the lipstick and go. <laughs> In 2010, we've been really looking towards new studio records, maybe doing some, some unique uh, holiday touring towards the end of the year. Uh, there's potentially a project coming online that uh, would be a very big project in the United States, doing a couple big concerts, and I can't even tell you what it is yet, but it'd be huge. I think right now, we're really looking to take a little time off and work on writing and stuff. We're desperately hoping to do Latin America and you know, everywhere from Mexico City to Brazil to Argentina to Colombia, everywhere. It's so nice being down here. We really feel very fortunate to be here.